Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I wanted to show you the first new plot of the Rusted Garden. This is the general design. I'm going to walk through it so you can see it better. But this is where my first really uh, fenced in garden area is going to go. We're going to go in stages. It's going to be about 40 feet uh, wide and it's going to go 80 feet across. And that's just the general dimensions. Gate's going to be right here. Well, one of the gates. This will be coming off from behind me is the house that we could walk into the garden and will be a gate here. I have my fruit plants over here. I'll give you a quick look at those. I'm doing a blueberry bush hedge, so I'm planting them about three feet apart. You can do that if you want a nice hedge of blueberries. And when you grow blueberries, make sure you use a bunch of different varieties because they need to cross pollinate to really have nice, plump, juicy blueberries. And you also want an acidic soil. In the back, I have some currants, uh, raspberry canes, and then right along here, the sun is going to be behind me. I'm going to have um, my hops plants. So they will be growing, you know, up through here and they're not going to shade off the rest of the garden. So we're inside the garden now. Let me just give you a look down here. You can see uh, the string. We're going to fix up that little uh, shed there, make it look really nice. So we're going to step in and then this is going to be the main garden area. So I'm going to do eight foot beds. These are set up generally is eight foot beds. This is just for the design. And the beds are going to be right along here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, four by four, yeah, four feet by eight feet raised beds. And that'll be plenty to get me started. So the beds are the ones that have the X's in there so that you can see the beds will be set up like that. We'll walk through it. And then right down the middle here, this will be a path. It's about four foot wide. I may make it three foot wide, but I'm going to do some trellising. I want to make some tunnels. It'll be really cool. Now, I do recommend if you enjoy homestead channels and gardening channels, check out Roots and Refuge. Jess does a wonderful job with her husband showing you really how to build uh, really cool tunnels in your garden areas and how to really take care of the whole garden. She's raising a family there. If I knew what I knew today, 25 years ago, I'd be raising my family just like they are. And I do recommend go check out their channel. You'll learn a lot and it's really enjoyable to watch. I'll put a link in my video description. So I have three rows of eight foot beds. Let's do it from this angle here because it'll be a little bit easier to see. So you're going to walk in from here, fruit plants over to my right, but be on your left when you walk in. And then we'll have three eight foot beds right there. That's walking space, three eight foot beds. And I do recommend you do this on paper. If you have a big enough backyard, set up something so you can visually see it. I'm gonna link my video where I talked about how to track the sun moving through the sky. And you can see three more beds right here. And then I'm gonna have two beds, eight foot beds right down there. And again, it'll be plenty to get started. Now I do recommend tracking the sun because this space here was selected because it gets the most sun throughout different points of the day. Let me step back here. I'm going to put a gate right on this side too so that I can come in from this way. But again, you can see we got the X's beds, walking space, beds, walking space, beds. Now these are going to be the raised beds over here. Down this line, I'm going to do two straight long two foot rows with two foot two feet of walking space in between straight down it's going to be covered so it'll be like two feet from the fence two feet planting area two feet of walking space two feet of planting area all the way down to the end of this fenced in area and i'm going to cover this with wood mulch and we're going to just let this space take care of itself using the wood mulch every once in a while, some soluble fertilizer. But this is where I'm going to plant a lot of my zucchinis and squash um, and different plants. So these will be just earth beds. They're not going to be raised beds. But you can see the general design of my space. I'm really excited. It's, of course, 32 degrees here right now. Um, so I can't really get anything going. But this is going to be the general design of the rusted garden. I thought I would just give you a quick tour of what it looks like. And, you know, again, subscribe to my channel through 2019 because I'm going to totally build this up, get this space going, 
growing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and hope you, you know, really join me for 2019. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my YouTube channel at www.therustedgarden.com. And just a quick preview right over there, you see some bags of garden soil. I'm going to show you how to use vases as cloches and we can get lettuces growing right over there. Again, thanks for watching.